Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. Today, we have a brand new Piston Cut Racer, Ernie Gearson, who is sponsored by Spare Mint and is number 93. I got this from the amazing Amazing Boys Toys Co. Thank you, Bailey Mays, over there at the company. Their eBay store is currently called Code May Zero. The link to it is in the description below. And they're currently in the process of changing everything over to the company name. Amaze and Boys Toys Co. And so they're going to have their own website. It's going to be great and it's coming very soon. Their email address is in the description below as well. So you can contact them asking about some items that you may not see on their eBay store. But if you want to buy them and you think they might have them, which is very likely because they have stuff ranging back to day one of cars up to right now. Like this stuff hasn't even hit that many stores yet and they have it. So really a very wide variety of stock and they do ship worldwide. So no concern there. They're also currently buying collections. So if you have just random stuff laying around in the package, loose, damage, it doesn't matter. Just email them the details and you might come out on top with that with a good amount of money for the stuff that you have that's just collecting dust. So anyways, let's dive right into the review now of Ernie. So you guys definitely love your piston car racers. There's no doubt about that. This guy won the poll on my review of Lane Lock, the Sergi racer, who again is a piston car racer. And before that, it was Darren Ledford, who's another piston car racer. But anyway, he won with like 577 votes or something like that, which was like 77 or something percent of the vote. I wrote it down, but Apparently, I didn't bring the note card with me, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Wow, that's kind of disappointing. But anyway, I remembered it. There you guys go. And it's on the screen, so you guys can get that reminder there as well. All right, no more Piston Car Racers are left to review. So it's all Demolition Derby now. Option one is Roscoe, the host of the Demolition Derby. Up next, we have Jimbo. I'm surprised no one has voted for this guy much lately. I mean, he's only been getting like 6%, 7% at best. And I really do like him. Like him and Roscoe are at the top of my list. T-Bone here, number three, is also at the top of my list. And then number four is Fishtail. And number five, numero cinco, is Broadside. And I think that's actually all the cars I currently have left to review from Cars 3. Yeah, there's nothing else. Actually, there's APV, but yeah, we can only have five options in the poll. And those are the five for today. All right, guys, let's take a look here at the package of Ernie. So Ernie is in the same case as like all the cars that I just showed, like these guys right here. T-Bone is a first look, so that's an exception. But that case is case H. It has been found in the Philippines primarily so far, but I'm sure it will hit the United States very soon. The full list of contents is in the description below. Probably one of the best cases ever that will ever get. However, I do have the case list for September and those are absolutely amazing as well. It pretty much takes away all of the singles on the 2017 Cars 3 poster, like we're done. And it'll just be September. They might dribble a little bit into October, but that is still not bad at all. Mattel has been doing an awesome job putting a lot of new cars in the cases rather than what they've done in the past sometimes where they put like two or three new cars in the case and the 21 others are duplicates that Clog the pegs, like three McQueens, three May. There's just a bunch of junk at that point because they've been out for like five months. But this case, like seven new cards, which is just absolutely amazing. But I think it's time now to read the description first. Blindside by a new generation of pissing car racers. Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves to get back on top. 
he will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. I was about to open him up, but then I was like, oh, I gotta read the description and show these other guys here on the back. So, Roscoe, Broadside, Jimbo, Fishtail, APB, and Darren Leadfoot. Now, since you guys are such big fans of Piston Cop Racers, I have not obviously reviewed any of these yet because they are in the poll, but the link for him will be in the description. I just reviewed him like five days ago, something like that. So now it's time to open up Ernie here. He looks scared. He looks worried, but I think that's pretty awesome that he's worried because that means a new expression. All right, time to open him up. All right, so here is Ernie out of the package, looking fantastic. He reminds me of Doug Throttleman, the Mood Springs racer, because like the front end of him is just a nice dark blue, and the rest of him is a lighter blue. With Dud, it's pretty much the opposite. It's kind of like a light blue or white down here by the bumper, and then he fades off into a dark blue throughout. So it's kind of like the opposite on him. I think that's a pretty cool design that they're going for on some of the racers where the front like end by the mouth is a different color than the rest of the body. I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was pretty gosh darn cool. All right, time to talk about Ernie's appearance in the movie, Cars 3. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I haven't really seen him in any trailers. I'm sure he might have sped by, but there's no sense in showing, hey, look at that blue blur right there. That might be Ernie Gearson. Now, nah, I'm just going to talk about, you know, the story about Ernie. He was the Spearmint Racer or Spare Omen. Some people say Spare Omen. I guess it doesn't really matter. The Spearmint Racer in Cars 1, which now... I'm not buying it with this one. I don't buy it with Ernie here because look at his model. That's an old stock car model from like the 80s or 90s. And the fact that he has been racing since then until 2017 is mind blowing. And I don't buy onto it. So I think that they should have renamed this one. I can kind of buy onto Darren Ledfoot because his Cars 1 counterpart is a newer, more modern model. But this one, not the case at all. So yeah, I'm not a fan that this guy carried over from from C1 to C3, but it's the same case as Murray Clutch for him because Murray is the same model as Ernie from Cars 1 and he is still in Cars 3. I think that's all though. I don't think there are any more unrealistic carryovers. I mean, I think some of them are a little unrealistic, but definitely not to the extent of Ernie and Murray because the other ones are like Dirk San Diego, Stino, Ponchi Wipeout, Todd Marcus. Those are a little more understandable, but this one. Not really. So he does get replaced, finally, I guess, by the next generation Spearmint Racer. The name of him is currently unknown, but there is a picture of him from the movie racing from the back. And I don't really have any other pictures of the next gen Spearmint. If I do, by the way, find a picture of the stock car Spearmint Ernie here from Cars 3, I'll throw the picture on the screen, but I'm not too hopeful about that because I don't remember seeing him at all. But kind of sad that he got replaced after his amazingly long-lasting career. I mean, his longevity, I guess, is just outstanding, but unrealistic in my opinion. Now, as for his releases, this single is it as of now, but I think he could get re-released in the future. It's likely... I feel like one, like at one point in time or some point in time, they will do like a series or a two pack series where you get the stock car and the next gen of the same sponsor in the same pack. That would be an amazing idea. And I think it'll definitely happen at some point. I mean, it's a huge money maker for sure. It'd be kind of foolish of them not to do that in my opinion. All right, comparison time between the two Ernie's here. So they're just, oh my gosh, they are just, Incredibly different as you can see the Cars 1 version just is more of a squared off model a little bit more blocky whereas the new version is curvy so plastic surgery question mark new I don't know what do they call it new metal plating I know there's someone that always says like they give a great explanation as to how the models change and something like plating or wire new metal I don't know, I can't think of it right now. I know the person watches my videos as well. His name is Kyle. He always says, I just, 
can't remember what he says. If you're watching, Kyle, let me know in the comments or just you know message me somehow. But take a look here at the grills. He does still have his mustache there. As you can see, this is like the mustache from before, the mustache grill. And it was just plain black with the gray outline. Now it is gray silver with black kind of like indentations in there. So it's a little bit more realistic. The 93 actually was just right there. He had no fake taillights because, you know, they were fake. They were just stickers. And he was like, I'm not all about that. I don't need the fake stickers. He's just going to go without them. But now he actually has real headlights. I said taillights. I meant headlights. And since they are real, you have to have the sticker below. So that's why the 93 is down there. Seems pretty small on him. You can see how the leaf design, whoa, that is so bright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The leaf design carries over from the sides there. On the hood here, you see the updated Spearmint logo there, which looks absolutely fantastic. The text is more three-dimensional there. You can see like the depth and shadow behind it. And instead of just having that one tire there with the two leaves coming out of it with some sparkles, you now have just like four leaves or something, like a big one there, a couple others with two tires that look very realistic. It's like they went to walmart.com, went to the like tire section, copy and pasted it onto Spearmint. I'm just kidding, but you know, it's seriously like they did that. What's that like? O'Reilly Auto Parts store or whatever, and they're just taking the tires from real life. I mean, they look very realistic, which is very cool. Like I talked about before, the hood fades from the darker blue to the lighter blue, and you do have some sparkles around the leaves and on the leaves as well. Before, it was just so boring because it was a solid blue color, and now it's gradient. Also, he has the worried expression. Now, as you will see later on when I do a little comparison, the eyes are the same, but you just flip over the mouth there to a frown and it's a completely different looking expression which is all they gotta do really in my opinion flipping stuff rotating stuff that's fine with me they don't need to go to any more effort than that and I am content I just had to put that up to my face because I just noticed that his rims have trim wow that is awesome it's hard to see on the camera but they're actually white with blue trim that is awesome not many racers get that treatment i know the most recent racer that got that treatment was lane lock which was like two days ago but still that's just a fluke so that's pretty awesome there black light your tires there of course light your on the fenders as well the front fenders i should say his contingency sponsors are the Piston Cup, Violin, Revolting, RPM, Nitroid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. In Cars 1, he had a lot more there. He had like all of those plus like 10 more. He did have white rims in Cars 1, but they did not have the blue trim like they do now. And I love the updated leaf design for the sides here. So you have a very, very three-dimensional 93 there with the shadow and everything. Before, it was pretty much just flat on the leaf with a little depth to it and there was just one leaf with the white outline. It looked very just kind of simple, basic. Now it's a little bit more complex which makes it more exciting. So you have this one leaf here that starts there, stops there. Then you have this bigger one here that encapsulates the 93, some small ones down here, and then some more smaller ones over here as well. So it definitely looks great. And it's all this light blue color with some sparkles in there as well. You can see they're kind of like snowflakes. And the snowflake is really emphasized on the next gen. So you guys will see that when it comes out. And he does have like this gray I don't know, run board down here along with the red arrow to indicate to the pit crew where to lift Ernie up at to do work on the undercarriage. So basically, Shirley, or no, this is not Shirley, this is Piccolo Perry would lift him up there and then bam, they do some work on the base. And there is the base if you are interested in that kind of stuff. Kind of boring to me. He does have exhaust pipes on both sides, by the way. Moving toward the back here now, you have the Spearmint logo, which is very similar to the one there on the hood. It's just resized a little bit and organized a little bit differently. You have the gas cap right there. The gray run board stripe continues on. On the roof, you have a big leaf and 93 with the roof flaps and four sparkles. Here is what it was before. Very basic, you know, with the white outline. It looks just 
very surface level and this is you know more for the time of 2017 where everything is just looking so modern you know what i'm talking about guys now below the back window here you have the spearmint logos this one is pretty much the same as on the sides and on the hood there and you have all those sparkles behind it before just the flat blue color there with the typical spearmint logo there on the back you have a very light blue it looks so different than the front like if you looked at the back here and then looked at the front just so insanely different because of the colors but you have the camera there to get some cool shots of racing from behind and then you have the spearmint logo again which i do wish they changed it up a little bit but it's no big deal you have some leaves just going on right here 93 some flying leaves over there as well and here's what it was before I did kind of like this leaf design and how they were like symmetrical on both sides, but you know what? I do prefer the Cars 3 version for sure. And the just horizontal Sparrow Mint logo there. Now, for the most part, people will refer to Ernie as the Cal Weathers model because Cal was pretty much the first one and he's the most prominent and he does speak in the movie. Now, they have two entirely different expressions. First, you know, the models are different and the eyes as well. There's no flipping here at all. If you flip that, you would not get that. If you rotated that, you would not get that. But their models are completely identical in terms of shape and whatnot. They're the kind of curvy model, I guess you could say. I mean, all of the Cars 3 models, the three ones that we have are pretty curvy, but this one I'd say is the most curvy. Now, getting a little bit closer to similarity here, we have Dirks and Diagostino. Now, their eyes are the same there, if you look. I mean, Ernie's eyes are a little closer to the bottom there, but, you know, it's pretty much the same in how this right eyelid curls up. That one is closer to the eye there, so you can see that that is identical there. Now, we also have another expression for this model, and that is from pretty much actually the majority of them. It is, here we have, what is this, Darren Ledford, I'm sorry, I forgot there. Again, the mouth is different, so they actually sculpt a brand new mouth for Ernie because, you know, if you flipped any of these little smirks here, you would definitely not get that mouth showing the teeth and everything. Now, this is what I like to call the determined expression. Ernie has the worried expression. Here's Ponchy Wipeout. By the way, this was Todd Marcus, if you guys do not know. So pretty cool stuff that this is essentially a brand new model because the mouth is sculpted into the base. You can feel the indentation. So that is a new model. Like, it's technically a brand new model for piston car racers, which is awesome to see. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It is team time. Let's bring in the team here. We have, no, you gotta be kidding me. What's his name? What's his name? Oh, come on. How could I forget his name? Ernest, 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 Ernest. It's Ernest something. Oh man, oh man. I just can't remember. Wow, all right, guys, sorry about that. But I do know the pity's name, Piccolo Perry. And here is my custom toolbox from the amazing Four Wheel Drive 7. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Because unfortunately Mattel did not make one. So that looks pretty cool right there. Obviously the designs on the team here are to match Ernie from Cars 1, but still they all look really cool together with all the Spearman decals. I love how simple Piccolo Perry is because he just has, or she, Actually, I'm pretty sure it's a he. Just has the tire leaf logo. Just no writing at all. Just the tire leaf, which is very simple. It gets the job done for sure. So let's bring in everybody here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ernest P. Rakes, I just remember that. So that is the Spearman Crew Chief right here. Actually, I was going to look it up and I was typing Spearman Crew Chief and as I was looking it up, I remembered and I hit the search button and there it was right there, Ernest B. Rakes. So I don't know how that name relates to cars, but cool. Welcome to the party, Ernest. And I think it just kind of threw me off that his name is pretty similar to Ernie. In fact, it's pretty much the same. Ernie is just like an abbreviation or a shortened nickname of Ernest, I believe. So, yeah, I guess that's maybe how they met each other and how they became friendly. It's because it's like, hey, man, your name's like the same as mine. Let's be a team and everything. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section below which experiment, which Ernie racer here you prefer. 
the most. I definitely prefer the Cars 3 version, which is the case with 90% of the racers so far. I think the only exception really has been gaskets, just because I just don't think it changed that much. Toe cap might have been another exception. I don't remember which I went with for that, but I would say that that would be a pretty close call between the two of them. Let's get you out of the way because you're disturbing me mentally there. And guys, thank you again for watching. I hope this video was enjoyable. And by the way, actually, if that question was too easy, because I think it is, let me know which Cal Weathers model is your favorite out of all these here. And the ones I don't have, like Murray Clutchburn on the table. Or what is the other one that I don't have on the table? I don't know. Maybe I have them all except for Murray. But thank you guys. And we'll see you next time for another video. Bye now.